your friends. <laughs> like what's considered a good like after school snack or something for kids is like a baguette with butter and chocolate. So I'm gonna try that now. Okay, this is lovely. A little pain au chocolat. You can never go wrong. Mmm. The French definitely know what they're talking about with this one. everyone and welcome to a new vlog. I am with my husband getting him all moved into his place that he's going to be in for a few months working and uh, it's kind of funny because I packed some stuff and I packed some stuff from the city, brought it here to his location and then now I'm unpacking that but also packing because I have to go home to a different spot and work for a few days so it's just like in the suitcase, out of the suitcase, in the suitcase, out of the suitcase. It's kind of crazy, but we've been trying to keep it really simple because we're, we are only here for a few months and not bring too much, but then, like, we got here and realized, like, okay, we don't have anything to cook with, really. Like, we brought stuff, but we forgot a kitchen knife, so we've been using, like, a pocket knife that I have for hunting and um, had nothing to, like, grate, treat, grate cheese with, so... We just been using that one knife to do everything basically to cut bread. I made sourdough bread. I brought like a loaf pan and I made sourdough bread, but I didn't bring a bread <laughs> knife or anything like that. So um, I'm gonna go. There's one thrift store here. It's a tiny, tiny town, but there's one thrift store here, and I'm just gonna go see if they have just some like basic kitchen things. And then I'm thinking we can like sort of put together a little box that will be for. Um, like short stays and we can just have one box that will have like all the basics you need just to live life a little and like we're trying to eat in and eat healthy and sort of get back into our usual regimen and there aren't that many places to eat out here anyway so like we really gotta get some things so we can cook proper meals and eat healthy while we're here and yeah, I just need some basics, so I'm going to go out and do that today. It's sunny today, but there's smoke out, which is unfortunate. It was beautiful yesterday. We got here where it was, like, so hyped. And then today it's been really smoky, so hopefully that goes away soon. And I'm really praying that we don't have a massive fire, uh, wildfire year, but it's kind of scary. Anyway, let's go out. I've been loving Casey Musgrave's new album. It's so good. She's just... A great songwriter and I really admire her so I'm gonna listen to her and go for the drive guys ah, I have been looking let's do the light on for a black polka dot dress for so long and I've been scouring the internet haven't been able to find like kind of what I wanted because I wanted it to be like flowy on the bottom but kind of fit it on top and just like oh my god I had a feeling I had a feeling that if I went there I was gonna find what I've been looking for I was supposed to be looking for kitchen stuff and I was didn't find anything but I found this dress oh my gosh I am just so excited to be getting back to spring and for the world to be waking up. Things are turning green. The sun is here, but it's also a little bit rainy. You can pull out your summer wardrobe, but also just throw on a cozy sweater. And it's just this beautiful in-between moment. And Cook Mullen has been really excited too. So he's been pulling out the fishing gear. We've been going on fishing dates. I've been reading outside a lot, just sitting in the sun, having my tea. It's just so beautiful and I've been really craving this after a long hard winter. I mean it wasn't super cold this year but I just felt like I really needed that downtime and I really leaned into that and so now I'm feeling super excited to just get back to the swing of things.
back. I've been trying to do cold plunges as much as possible lately. We used to do them every weekend and I do them every day in the shower, but it's such a different experience doing it in a large body of water. And we have all these beautiful lakes and rivers and oceans around us. And it just makes me so sad that we only use them a few months of the year for summer. And I'm like, I would just want to be in them all the time, even if it's cold, because it just wakes you up and it's so rejuvenating and it will change your day entirely. So if you're not doing cold plunges, I definitely recommend giving it a go.